Hi guys, it's Megan Bruce from the Philippines coming to you with another set of tutorial for this Janela's wallet or coin purse. This has a dimension of four and a half inches long and two inches in height. So this is just a small coin purse or wallet. So for this project you will need some nylon monoline sting that is 050 mm some acrylic beads of the two colors of your choice so for today i'm going to use this white and yellow they are acrylic rock beads that are 6 mm so for the project we will need two sets of a string that is about less than two meters long so the first batch of string is going to be for the first cheek and this strap while the other set of string is going to be for the second cheek and the connection for the bottom and side parts so you will need that less than two meters of string to make the project in two batches and it will be enough for it so you can slid in the rest of it okay so you will start after this okay to start off with the project i have made a diagram for it so you will see uh this is a made out of an oblong shape uh an oblong shaped toilet so it has some um, for the first cluster or the foundation cluster we will have a cluster of five then six clusters of six then a cluster of five so it also has uh, five rows up so the side parts of it is made out of clusters of five okay so to start off we're gonna make the foundation cluster can also refer to the made up uh, wallet so put two yellow ones on the right string you will hold your string so that the uh, the first end is on your right and the second end is on your left so put two on the right for the border line because this has a border line then put two on the left string and then we're going to silicone so this is a term that I frequently use uh, to start off with the project so that is using your right end passing through the bead going to the left and then the left string going to the right then we're going to align the ends and we're going to slid that one bead so it will go to the rest of the beads forming a cluster of five okay so this is the borderline part the yellow so for the second cluster for the foundation we will need to put two yellow ones on the right string and then two for the left string and then we're going to silicone with that white one slid it to the rest of the beads and now we have a cluster of six okay so this is going to be the border line and this is the cluster of six the first one since it is in the side is the cluster of five so to make the rest for the first row we're going to make uh, five more clusters of six so i'm going to show you once again before i continue on put two yellow ones for the border line for the right string and then two white ones for the left string 
And then we're going to silico with that white. So after this, we're just going to make four more clusters of six uh, using the same method to form the first row, okay? So I'm going to catch up with you after that. Okay guys, now that we have made the six clusters of six after that first cluster of five, you will now see that the borderline is coming up pretty well. So, we're going to make a cluster of 5 for the end of the first row. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put 2 yellow beads on the right string. And then, one, only one for the left. And we're going to silico with the white one. So, for the second row, it will be slanting to the right. See? So we're here in this bead. We're going to form the second row. So the first one should be a cluster of six. So for the border, we will need two yellow ones. And then we're going to add to that two more. Of the white one and then we're going to silic up with a white bead okay so that is the first luster for the second row Let's see this slanting to the right okay that is forming the oblong so what you need to do for the second cluster is we're going to get our left string we're going to pass it through these two adjacent beads white ones so you can form the cluster of six next to it so for the middle parts of it we will just going to use the white one so to form that second cluster put two white ones on your right string and then silico up with the white one then we're just going to repeat this several times before we go to the end part or the end of the second row. Okay, now we have those, the cluster of six. Then I'm going to show you once again before we continue. Using your left string, pass it through these two adjacent white beads. And then we're going to put two white beads on the right. And then we're going to silic up with the white bead. Okay. So you're going to make this. I will count how many times you need to do this. Before we close the. Before we end the second row. So counting that somewhat Y part so we need to make clusters of six in the white with one two three four five more times so you're just going to do this once five times and then I'm going to catch up with you after that okay so now that we have made the five clusters of six we are in the end part of the second row what we need to do is we're going to insert the left stain to this one white adjacent bead and then we're going to turn our project so that the left string is the right one and the right string is the left okay so we need to put a border line so we put two yellow ones on the right and then one one bead, one white bead for the left, and silico with the white bead, forming the last cluster of six for the second row. So the third row is going to be this middle part. It's made out of uh, clusters of five for the side. So in order to do that, they're going to put uh, two yellow ones for the borderline, and then 
I'm going to add one more white and silicone with the white one. So now you have formed the first cluster for the third row, which is a cluster of five. Get your left string, insert it to the two adjacent beads, and then we're going to form clusters of six again. So I'm just going to show you one example of it, and then I will count how many times you will need to do it again. So that is putting two white ones on your right string, and then silicone with one white. And we're going to make this cluster of six for the middle part for about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So after you've done that, I'm going to catch up with you. Okay, so now that we have made the cluster of six seven times, we're going to close our third row. So what you need to do is we're going to insert your left string to the white adjacent bead. So just one adjacent bead turn our work and now this is the left the right string uh, so we're going to need to put two white ones on that string on that right string and then silicone with a white one so we're going on to the fourth row of the first cheek of this project so now we're here, we're going to insert this left string to that one adjacent white bead. So we're going to form clusters of six again. So what we need to do to start the, the fourth row is put two yellow beads on the right string and another white for the right string and then silicone up with the white one. Okay, then we're just gonna need to do several of those clusters of six in the white. So that's the start of the fourth row. I'm just going to show you one time how to make the rest for the fourth row. Insert your left string to these two adjacent white beads. We're going to form a cluster of six in white. Put Two white ones on the right string and silicone with a white with a white bead. So you're just going to do this process several more times. I will count one, two, three, four, five, six times before we close the closer the fourth row. So I'm gonna catch up with you after that. So now that we have made those six clusters of six for the fourth row, what we need to do is uh, insert the left string to these two adjacent beads and then we're going to turn our work. For the borderline, we will need two yellow beads and then we're going to silicone up with a white bead. And then we're going to start the fifth and last row. And it is composed of border lines too. What we need to do is we're going to insert this left string to this one adjacent white bead. Then we're going to form a cluster of five. So we'll insert, put two yellow beads on the right string and then silicone up with the white bead. Okay, and then we're going to make a cluster of six. So insert your left string to these two adjacent white beads and form a cluster of six with the yellow border line. So that is putting two yellow beads on the right string and then silicone up with the white bead. Okay, so we're going to make this several more times. I will count again how many times you will need to do this cluster of six with the borderline. 
So you need to do it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more times before we close the fifth, the fifth row. I will catch up with you after this. Okay, so now that we have made those 5 clusters of 6 with the borderline for the last row, what we need to do is insert this left string to these two adjacent white beads and then we're going to close the project. So what we need to do is we're going to select up with two yellow beads instead of one. So that is putting your beads on your right string and then we're going to select up. So after making this one, you need to make another one using the set of string that I told you. It is about 8. The string you need to cut is about less than 2 meters. So, you will need that for the second cheek and the strap part. Okay, so now that we have done that, we're going to insert the string to a place on the beads. Place of the wallet where it will be in the middle part. Okay. So what we need to do is we're going to put the left string going here, going out of here and then on the other part. Okay. So using your left string first, insert it to a series of beads. So it will go to that place. You need it to be so this is going to be the place where we're going to put the strap part okay so since you have put the left string in that particular place we're going to use the other set of string or the right string what we need to do is slid it to several beads okay so as I told you the string will be enough for the first cheek and also for the strap and the second batch will be enough for the second cheek and for the side parts okay so now that we have put our left and right string to that appropriate place we can uh, put this aside first see this is in that place where we're going to put this strap we're going to set this aside and then make another another cheek so after you have done that I'm going to catch up with you for the rest of the tutorial